Hi guys, it's Ashling back chatting to you again on the Waterstones vlog. Uh, this month I've got three books to recommend to you. Uh, two books that are already released and one that is yet to be released. So we're going to start with the book yet to be released and the book is Crudo by Olivia Lang. Now, Olivia Lang, this is a debut novel, but she is by no means a newcomer to writing. She is particularly well known for her non-fiction book, The Lonely City, which I actually have here for you as well. And it's kind of a meditation on art and solitude and loneliness. And it's really, really good. But today we're gonna to talk about her fiction. Uh, Crudo follows the point of view of a woman named Kathy who may or may not be Kathy Acker, we're not sure, it's never expressly told to us, but I kind of have a hunch. But um, anyway, Kathy is about to marry her husband. Uh, the book is set in the summer of 2017, kind of amidst uh, the election of Donald Trump and this rise of kind of like trolling online and fascism and all these terrible events taking place in the world. And it's kind of a contrast of all this terribleness, you know, consumerism, just terrorism everything uh, versus how this woman feels about her husband. Uh, I really enjoyed it particularly just because the character herself is very witty and her humour is very dry and she's actually a little bit evil as well which I just loved because it's kind of nice being let into someone's interior monologue and just being told everything that they're thinking and it's really unabashed unashamed and really really out there and I think this is really going to make waves when it is released on the 28th of June this year so that's definitely something to look forward to guys. Next up I have a debut novel Peach by Emma Glass. Now guys I actually read this whole book last night in one sitting because it was kind of addictive and uh, I just really really could not put it down. It's great as well, it's really short so if you're just looking for something short just to tide you over I really really recommend this. What I will say though is it was extremely experimental and vivid. Uh, the book itself it follows the aftermath of a sexual assault which sounds very harrowing and difficult to read but I actually found that I flew through this because just the imagery and the way that she was portraying things was just really beautiful and really just kind of grabbed me and I couldn't let go like I literally could not stop reading. I'd recommend this for fans of Eamon McBride or Sarah Baum because her just her use of language and rhythm just really reminds me of the way the two of them write. Uh, what really hooked me into buying this is the quote from George Saunders on the back because if any of you saw my review uh, a few months ago of Lincoln in the Bardo you'll know that I am a very big fan of George Saunders so I'm just going to read that quote to you now. So it says, a strange and original work of art that manages to be both genuinely terrifying and undeniably joyful. In this dark poetic myth, Emma Glass takes on the big issues, good and evil, violence, redemption. So I think that actually sums it up really well, because although it is kind of a very dark, extremely dark and harrowing subject matter, she's written it with such vigour and care that it's sort of goes to a different place that a book like that maybe could have. So I really, really recommend that. It's something different and something quite special, actually. I think she is one to watch and I'd be very interested to see what she does next because this book kind of came out of nowhere and then I just picked it up and have sort of uh, become enamored with it. So I really, really hope that you guys will too. And lastly, I have a book that actually is really old, but is in bestseller charts everywhere nonetheless. And the book is Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asiman. Now, I actually bought this book uh, before Christmas and read it before Christmas as well because I saw a trailer for the film and I was just really interested. And I'm one of those people that wants to be like, oh, I've read the book. So I wanted to read it before the film came out. And oh my God, I actually have not been able to stop thinking about this since I read it, like I, I think about it all the time. So I think if you have seen the film and you really liked it, or even if you haven't seen the film and you're just looking for a really good book, I recommend this. I just think it's it's one of those books that I will always say is one of my favorite all time reads because it is just that good. It's so beautiful. Uh, it's told from the point of view of a teenager called Elio Perlman. He's spending the summer in Italy with his family and every summer his family hosts uh, an academic who comes and stays with them before the publication of their uh, academic manuscript the following year. And this year, where our story is set, the academic is Oliver. 
at the, at the beginning of the story, Oliver and Elio, they have sort of a rivalry banter, but not quite fun banter, but they're sort of fascinated with each other all the same. And then they kind of become friends and then it becomes a really slow burning, addictive romance. Then just love, just love. And it's just the most beautiful book. If you've ever uh, been like on a holiday or away somewhere in another country, uh, you know, when you were a teenager and like, you know, had your first kiss or kind of experience with someone like that, it will just really remind you of that particular time in your life. And just as a coming of age story in general, it's really, really beautiful and really effective. So again, even if you haven't seen the film or if you have, try this. It's very different to the film because it's all from Elio's perspective. So it's a very, very different uh, way of telling the story. And there's actually a lot more information on the characters in this than the film gives away as well. So please read it. If you're looking for having a, yourself a very cathartic moment this weekend, uh, I highly recommend locking yourself in a room with this and having yourself a good old read and a good old ugly cry because God knows I ugly cried to this. Okay guys, so those are my three recommendations for this month. Uh, I hope you liked them and I'll be back talking to you again in about a month's time on the Waterstones vlog with some more book recommendations. Okay guys, bye.